second. And uh, as you can see, we're out here ripping her up right now, filling in that fertilizer, so that manure. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to seed her down, but uh, I'll probably go over this a few times, or a couple of times anyway, for sure. And uh, rip her up real good. seed down. I'm going to broadcast the corner. I'm going to give this a shot. I've been reading about it. Say, uh, throw twice as much corn down and, uh, drag it in. Drag it in good. So what we're going to do, we're going to go all the way around the edge with corn, beans in the middle, and then I'm going to come back probably late August, somewhere in that region, and, uh, do the brassicas down the middles here. But, uh, this is all the seed we got right here, beans and corn. And uh, we're gonna start throwing her down, so stick with us. dragging all this call it a night all right well we're gonna start dragging this up call it a night because it's getting warm out There's some corn still on the top, but some has got down in there, but uh, it's better than just sitting on the top, I guess. I mean, it still kind of is, but I left a spot right about in there uh, just sitting on top just to see if the corn would grow just sitting on top because usually when I, I, I broadcast my beans every year. And I've never uh, drug them in. I usually just broadcast them on and they usually grow anywhere. So 
But since I had the drag up here, I figured I'd just drag it all. So, I guess we'll find out in a couple weeks here. Um, what grows and what don't. Like I said, I only had enough beans to probably go to about uh, right at the top of my pinky right there. So that little spot down there, I'll probably just put a, a brassia skin or oats or rye or something or another, whatever, whatever I can get my hands on. But uh, that's it. That's her. So a couple of weeks, we'll come back up here, and uh, we'll see how it uh, how it grows and what's growing and what's not growing, and we'll go from there. I guess that'll solve a mystery or not if I can broadcast corn or not. So I was gonna go rent a planter for I don't know, it's like a hundred bucks, hundred fifty bucks, something like that. I was like, oh well, I'll just. Try broadcast them once, doesn't go, it doesn't go. I'll, and then I'll plant them in next year, not a big deal. <clears throat> but uh, we'll see if they come up. That's a little tower I built. I put my ground blind on it, actually. Works really, really well. I've shot uh, numerous of deers. I actually got to trim this up, replant it. But there's a the strip from here to here, all the way along that tenure. Um, I usually put a barascus from about this point on, but this is all clover here. Doesn't seem to be uh, flowered out. Doing pretty good actually I thought I was going to have to replant that so it didn't, didn't look, look too good earlier in the year but uh, yeah let's come up here and mow it and uh, do a little maintenance up here I'll just come up pull my camera my card on my camera there and uh, call her a day all right, so that'll wrap up the video today. Man, the bugs are terrible. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Like I said, we'll come back up a couple weeks. Uh, check out that food plot up there, the beans and the corn, and and uh, see how that's doing. Hopefully we get some growth out of it. And uh, hopefully it'll work. But I think I'm going to call her quits right here. Look at the rest of my clover patch and see how it's going. And uh, we'll update you guys in a couple weeks. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.